Welcome, welcome. All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. To everyone in our audience, I've got a couple of quick housekeeping remarks before we get we turn it over to our first institution. If you, for to everyone in the audience, feel free to type your questions to any of our representatives at any point throughout the presentation. You can direct them to a specific college or to any of uh, all of them together. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And then uh, a recording of this session and all of our sessions are going to be available at the same website where you registered, GAProbe.org. You can check this out. The recording should be up in about a week. All right, without any further ado, I'd like to, uh, we're going to be hearing from these six colleges this evening, Georgia College and State University, Liberty University, Life University, Lynn University, Maryville College, and Miami University. So first up, we're going to hear from Georgia College and State University. Take it away. All right, thank you so much. My name is Rachel Horn, and I'm an admissions counselor here at the beautiful um, Georgia College. Can everyone see my screen? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, give me one second. There we go. Okay. Well, again, my name is Rachel Horn and I'm an admissions counselor at Georgia College. We are located in the historic lakeside city of Milledgeville. We are the state's designated public liberal arts university. And a lot of you are probably thinking, okay, cool, but what on earth is liberal arts? So I'll start with what we're not. We are not politically affiliated in any which way, and we are not an art school, though we do have a phenomenal arts program. But we're also home to the number one nursing program in the university system, a business program that is accredited on the highest national level, one of the best teaching programs in the region, and many other programs like political science, psychology, music therapy, chemistry, criminal justice, exercise science, theater, mass communications, and that's just to name a few. Liberal arts is not a box that defines what majors we have. It's about how your time here will be shaped both inside and outside the classroom. We're focused on building essential skills like effective communication, critical and analytical thinking, collaboration, leadership, and creative problem solving. One way we accomplish this is with our GC Journeys program. Through this program, you'll have the opportunity to complete at least five of these transformative experiences before you graduate, while the average college student in the US does less than three. These top three are automatically built into your time with us regardless of your major. Then you'll have the opportunity to pick from any of these below to achieve at least two more. And depending on your major, some of these might already be built in as well. All of these experiences are going to challenge the way that you think and show you just how much you're capable of. Being a medium-sized school, we have about 6,000 undergraduate students here on campus, which allows for 95% of our classes to be less than 50 students. This means no intimidating lecture halls where you get swallowed up amongst 300 other students. Our class are focused on engagement and discussion, creating an environment for you where you feel comfortable to ask questions, to voice your opinion, and work cohesively with your peers and your professors. Now don't worry, Bobcats aren't all work and no play. We have over 170 student organizations, over 90 intramural sport leagues, 27 fraternities and sororities, an awesome campus activities board, and even a designated center here on campus to connect you to volunteering opportunities all throughout the community. And with all of our freshmen living on campus, you'll be walking distance or just a couple minutes drive away from all of these things. We promise you will never be bored. If this sounds like a place you wanna be a part of, let's talk about the application. We're on Common App and GA Futures. Our application includes two essays that we provide the prompts for, and yes, we really do read them. We also need your high school to send us an official transcript. We're currently test optional for fall and spring 2021, but you're welcome to send in your scores if you feel like they help paint a more complete picture of your app. Additionally, we strongly recommend sending in a resume 
and letters of recommendation from teachers or counselors. Just like the essays in every part of your application, we really do look at these. And that's because we review holistically. This means that we look at your application in its entirety, not just your GPA, though that is an important part. We consider the rigor that you've taken. We look for academic trends. And when we read your essays, your resume, and your letters of recommendation, we're looking for what your application alone can't tell us. What do you devote your time to outside of academics? What contributions have you made to your community or to your school? What leadership skills, talents, and ambitions do you possess? We also look at demonstrated interests. So have you communicated with your admissions counselor? Have you come for a campus tour or tuned in for a virtual info session? Now I mentioned that GPA, while not the only factor, is still important. This scale shows you what our admitted freshmen from last year looked like academically. Our average unweighted core GPA was a 3.6. If you find yourself at or above this average, I strongly recommend you apply by our early action deadline of October 15th and complete a President Scholarship Competition interest form by October 30th. This is our only merit-based scholarship opportunity for incoming freshmen, so we don't want you to miss out. I also encourage you to apply for our Honors College, which is a separate application from our admissions one, and that is due by April 1st. So let's recap on dates. Early action deadline is October 15th. It's non-binding and you'll get your decision back before Thanksgiving. Our final admissions application and Honors College application deadline is April 1st. President Scholarship Competition interest form is due by October 30th. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll be happy to answer your questions in the chat box and also make sure you check out our Meet Your Counselors page. Go Bobcats! Great. Thank you very much. All right, so next up, we are going to hear from Liberty University. Take it away. Christina, you are on mute. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you so much. <laughs> a quick reminder to our audience to feel free to uh, drop your questions in the Q&A at any point in time, either for, uh, for any of the, the representatives. Christina, take it away. Awesome. Hey, everyone. My name is Christina, and I am an admissions representative for Liberty University. I'm currently a junior majoring in strategic communications with a minor in psychology. I love staying active on campus, so I'm a part of three different NML teams because I think it's a fun way to stay connected with other students and be competitive playing some of my favorite sports. Now, that's just a little bit about me, but without further ado, let's talk about Liberty University. Liberty is one of the world's largest Christian universities located in Lynchburg, Virginia, with over 200 undergraduate programs housed by 15 different schools and colleges and 20 NCAA, NCAA Division I sports. Now what you're seeing here is 15 of our different schools and colleges. So for example, some of the ones that we like to highlight are our School of Aeronautics, Business, Education, and Nursing. I truly believe these areas are where we do have some of the top programs in the country. Additionally, within these schools, we offer programs like pre-law, pre-med, pre-physical therapy, and more. Now something that we recognize is important to students is feeling seen, heard, and understood. So our professors play a large part in that process by offering 10 office hours weekly and to make the classrooms feel more connected with the professors, we do have a 21 to 1 student to professor ratio. Now lastly, if you're interested in joining any of our study abroad programs, we do partner with LUCIN to offer those to our students. As I mentioned earlier, Liberty offers 20 NCAA Division I sports teams like football, basketball, baseball, volleyball, soccer, and more. But if you're not interested in being a part of a D1 team, we also have 40 club sports teams, as well as 20 plus intramural sports, like I mentioned. If for more information on our sports, you can visit www.libertyflames.com. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but food is very important to me, and it is to our students as well. 
As a result, Liberty has recently been rated number one in the U.S. for two years in a row. But aside from our main dining hall, we offer some retail locations, including four Chick-fil-A's within a five-mile radius of campus, three Dunkin' Donuts, and two Starbucks, all on campus. With housing in mind, we have been rated number nine in the U.S. as a result of our three housing styles, which are traditional, apartment, and hotel. The one of the pictures you see right there is our commons, and that is our hotel style. Also at Liberty, we are represented by all 50 states and over 70 countries. So you are guaranteed to meet someone from somewhere you have never been before, which is pretty great. Next on campus, we offer a lot of ways for you to have fun. First, we have Snowflex. Snowflex offers year round skiing, snowboarding and tubing. We also have an event called Coffee House, which is a student talent show where students can do musical comedy or dance acts with funny videos in between. We also have Convocation, which is the largest weekly gathering of Christian young people in the world. Currently, because of everything going on, it is virtual. However, we've had speakers like Simone Biles, Steph Curry, Steve Forbes, and more. Finally, we have a workout facility with just about anything you could ask for. Our mission process starts by submitting your application. We are accepting applications for students up to the fall of 2022 semester. And for all of you students who may be applying for the fall of 2021, we are test optional, but beyond that is to be determined. We don't have any sort of hard admission requirements, but rather take all things into consideration. So definitely submit everything you have. As a student at Liberty, we wanna make sure you feel supported academically, mentally, spiritually, and with your future in mind. Thus, our College of Applied Studies and Academic Success offers services where you can go for tutoring or a testing center, and that is all peer reviewed. We also have a career center that is there to prepare students for life after college, because I'm sure all you students here are hoping to get a job once you graduate, and that is what the career center is there to help you with. Finally, with our Center for Health and Wellness, we emphasize your wellness by offering multiple wellness initiatives, including mental health and spiritual wellness through counseling services. Now, when considering cost, Liberty is in the lower 25% of all private universities. Then to assist with finding the cost of college, 96% of our students receive some form of financial aid, including a merit or need-based scholarship or grant, outside scholarships, even student loans. One example of a merit scholarship would be the Liberty Academic Scholarship, where students can qualify to receive anywhere from 1500 all the way up to full tuition on academic scholarships. You can be granted this by submitting your unweighted high school GPA and SAT or ACT. We do super score those tests, so that is something to keep in mind as well. Finally, we do offer work study and student work positions. So that's just a great opportunity for you to be able to receive more scholarship as well. We're currently holding classes and visits in person. So if you'd like to come and see campus, we do offer Tour LU, Experience LU, College for a Weekend, and virtual tours. We do have College for a Weekend coming up in the following month. So I would recommend going to liberty.edu forward slash visit us to read more about College for a Weekend as we undergo some adjustments. Finally, if you'd like to claim an app fee waiver, you can text the number on the screen or email me and you can find out more information about Liberty and apply for free. If you have any questions, please email me or drop them in the Q&A section. Thank you so much for your time. Great, thank you, Christina. All right, next up we have Life University. Oh, Hurley, I think you're still muted. Sorry. Hey, how's everybody doing today? My name is Harley Reed and I'm one of the admissions counselors from Life University. I also have my coworker Tori here on the screen too as well. He's going to assist with um, speaking about the admissions process at the very end. So just to give you guys a quick video, I mean, I'm going to show you a quick video, but just to give you guys a, as far as a quick introduction of Life University, we are a four-year health science institution that's located in uh, Marietta, Georgia, that focuses mainly on health sciences with the uh, population of about 3,000 students and vitalistic approach, uh, meaning that the body is self natural healing itself through the proper nutrition, diet, rest, and exercise. So we're gonna show you guys a quick video. Sorry, I had it queued up, but it didn't, it went away, I guess. Um, 
Well, we'll just go ahead and do the slideshow to, okay. It's a quick video, so we'll just go through it real quick. And it'll explain everything about the institution as well. So that way, if you guys have any questions at the end, you can definitely let us know, okay? all right so this is just some of our majors that we do offer here at the institution as well uh we like i said we mainly focus on health sciences sorry about the video uh for some reason the sound didn't come up so i do apologize but these are some of our majors that we do offer and we are a quarter system school so that does allow our students to finish within three years with their bachelor's degree instead of four um, in regards to the programs, classes are 10 weeks long. You have the 11th week for finals. And then we give you a two to three week break in between every quarter or two as well, just to kind of give you that break in between and digest what you have already learned within the program. And then we also have four graduate programs and we're one of the largest doctor of chiropractic schools in the nation too as well. Uh, so this talks about our sports. So I'm gonna let Mr. Lewis go ahead and speak about it as far as in our sports. Thank you, Hurley. Uh, if you're an athlete or thinking about being an athlete, Life University is the institution for you. Life University, we compete at the NAIA level, Division I, and we have over 21 uh, collegiate competitive sports, 12 women and nine men. Also, Life University is globally known for its uh, rugby team, three national championships with men's basketball, and various conference, conference championships with this men and women's wrestling, been the women's cross country and also is uh, lacrosse team as well. Now to become a life student, uh, we do uh, recommend that you go to the website www.life.edu backslash apply. We do require all documents documents such as your high school uh, transcripts. You could send, send in your unofficial transcripts temporarily and we will uh, make a decision on whether you be accepted. But of course, we definitely need your official high school transcripts. And also, we definitely need your test scores if you're graduating from high school, your SAT or ACT test scores as well. In addition to that, if, you, if there's any students here that's transferring from another institution, perhaps, uh, we do ask that we get all of your previous college transcripts at the same time as well. Now, there are a couple of programs that does uh, require technical standard forms, such as the dietetics, nutrition, and exercise science as well. And each evaluation of your transcripts and any other previous transcripts or test scores typically takes about two to four weeks. On-campus housing, if you're wondering where you're gonna live at uh, freshmen, this is the dorm, the New Commons. The New Commons was built and opened in 2018. It is uh, lead certified and is one of our brand new dorms on campus as well. And for upperclassmen, we have the LVR, uh, short for the Life uh, Village Retreat. Majority of our upperclassmen and also the chiropractic students reside in the LVR. Tuition and fees, you can see the breakdown up on the screen there as well. As Hurley mentioned before, we are in a quarter system, so the average cost of attendance for an academic year is about $23,406. Eagle Madness. Eagle Madness is our version of homecoming. 
So we definitely would like to invite you out to our campus here in Marietta, Georgia. You can go to the website and register for our Eagle Matters. Our next one is on November 6th through the 7th. And we're, uh, our campus will have a lot of live events. Typically around that time of year, there's basketball games, soccer games, lacrosse games, and also rugby games that you could get a chance to attend to as well. At our Eagle Madness, you get a chance to meet all the faculty and staff, participate in a variety of different team events as well, and also get a chance to uh, learn a little bit more about Life University. And there's our contact information. You could contact Hurley Reed, hurley.reed at life.edu, or myself, Tori Lewis, at tori.lewis at life.edu. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Hurley and Tori. Next up, we've got Lynn University. Again, a quick reminder to all of our students in the audience, feel free to type your questions at any point in time to our reps. All right, Dan, thanks so much. My name is Federico Glitman. I'm excited to be here representing Lynn University. I know the big elephant in the room is Timmy. Timmy is our mascot in the office, so Timmy's excited to be here as well. One of the things we really want to focus on, and I don't want you to be overwhelmed by this, is do not care about acceptance rates. An acceptance rate does not define you. A 15% acceptance rate, 22% acceptance rate, 60% acceptance rate does not determine your level of success, which is why at Lynn University, we are very proud to announce that within the first three months of graduation, we have an 82% placement. Within six months, 87%. And within a year, we have a 92% career placement. There's over 40,000 college students in Boca Raton. So this is not where grandma and grandpa go to retire. And we are the 12th fastest growing metropolitan area in the United States. We are ranked number one for international diversity, which means at Lynn University, you're gonna be in a class of over 100 different countries and 42 different states. So this is not just a school primarily for students from Florida. Who are we as an institution? On the left-hand side, you're gonna see our numbers, but I think what's very important for you to focus on right now is how did Lynn University make changes and adaptations due to COVID-19? So one of the things we actually did that our students love is we went into a block schedule. You have courses Monday through Thursdays, Fridays you have off, and the great thing about our location is we are four miles away from the beach. The key thing I want you to focus on, 18 students per class. We do not provide tenure. Our faculty members are um, measured by the success of our students. They come from being a former vice president of marketing for Hasbro, which is Monopoly, a retired FBI agent, a former juvenile prosecutor that worked on the OJ Simpson case. What's important about our faculty members is they are not faculty members. They are second family and they become your mentors as well. Now at Lynn University, we are reinventing education. We are an Apple Distinguished School. All of our students receive an iPad Pro. Here's the thing, do not come to Lynn University just because we're gonna give you an iPad Pro. You wanna come for the ecosystem, <clears throat> excuse me. So with our ecosystem, what we've done is all of your books have been pre-downloaded on your iPad Pro, so you do not have to purchase a single textbook. If you're an audio learner, you can highlight the passage, it's gonna read it back to you. You can highlight the passage, it's gonna make it into a note section. Our philosophy at Lynn is just because you're in a classroom for 50 minutes, the world doesn't stop. So with our political science faculty members, what we do every morning is we read President Trump's tweets and we ask, do you agree or do you disagree? How does this impact the global, the societal and the economical climate, not just within the United States, but globally as well. So with our ecosystem, you can take education all over the world. Now, I don't want you to be too caught up with how many degrees are listed there. The key thing I want you to focus on is we have six colleges. Our College of Business, there's over 1,500 multinational corporations in the area. That's why we have a 92% career placement because you can work in Boca Raton, but be asked to go work in London upon graduation. Our College of Arts and Sciences, we have a partnership with the Washington Internship Institute program. Go to Washington DC for a semester and work on policy making. Our College of Communication and Design, if you watch the Avengers Endgame, our students work on that movie and they've been hired by Marvel Studios. Now at the same time, on the left-hand side, you're gonna see we have a three-year degree program. 
don't be afraid with what I'm going to tell you next, but the average graduation rate in the United States is five and a half years. At Lynn University, you can graduate in three years, and we will pay 24 credits for you to earn your bachelor's. And an interesting college that we also have that's very popular in Atlanta is we have a College of Aeronautics. So if you want to be a professional pilot, come fly the skies with us. What we've done with our core curriculum is you're typically going to hear you have to take English, math, and science your first two years and then start your major. At Lynn, you start your major from day one. And English, math, and science is focused on today's society. So we focus on how to think critically, how to problem solve, and how to communicate effectively. Self and society, belief and reason, justice and civic life, they have replaced the traditional English 101 and English 102 courses. Some great courses you're gonna have, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, From Oedipus to Oprah. My favorite one is the history of the New York Yankees and how it impacted American capitalism. And I'm very proud to say that our faculty members actually created a dialogue course, which English, called Black Lives Matter. And we're gonna focus on social inequality and we bring in representation, not just from Boca Raton, but all over the United States to have that important dialogue on social inequality, anti-Semitism. Quantitative reasoning, rather than do introduction to college algebra, we will teach you introduction to personal finance. How to match a checkbook, mortgage a house, finance a car. Scientific literacy, we're gonna show you why every time you go to the water, it's just a little bit more closer. So we focus on sustainability, climate change, and so much more. Most importantly, English, math, and science become embedded into your degree after your first year. We are a powerhouse, NCAA Division II school. We have 25 national championships. I'm from Argentina. I am a little bit biased. Our men's soccer program, in my opinion, is the top program in the nation. Most importantly, I am your admission counselor. I'm here to work with you. I'm here to make sure that there's no bumps along the way. This is a great uh, picture for you to take right before the end of the presentation. You have my cell phone, you have my email, and hopefully we'll see you become a fighting knight in the very near future. Excellent, thank you so much. So next up, we're gonna hear from Maryville College. Hi everybody, my name is Kelly Coger. Um, I am the rep for Maryville College. Um, I am um, uh, the fright, I recruit a bunch of freshmen to come out. So Maryville is located in Maryville, Tennessee. Um, we are about 35 minutes from the Great Smoky Mountains, as you can see um, in this picture in the background. Um, we're about 30 uh, minutes from Knoxville, Tennessee, and about three hours from the Atlanta area, um, and about um, uh, uh, like 50 minutes from, from Dollywood and Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. So um, we're in a really cool location and we definitely um, love it because of the views, but also the fun activities that you can take part in on our campus to make you more adaptable to our, to our environment. Um, a little bit about our application. We are test optional this year because of COVID-19 um, and we will be um, moving forward with that for the spring as well. Um, we offer over 14,000 um, to 23,000 merit scholarships. That is just based off SAT and ACT. There's more offered for competitive scholarships. We have a free application. You can find that on our um, website. And we have no essay or letter of recommendation for that. So it's super easy to locate. And um, it's a pretty uh, easy process. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And we will um, schedule a Zoom meeting with you if you want us to help you fill that out personally. Um, our student body is about 1,200 students, so we're a tight-knit community that truly loves on one another. Our class size is about 12 to 1, so you 100% get that personal in, that personal one-on-one um, uh, -on -one attention from your professors, and they just become your friends, not just um, a professor. They're your family, um, so you definitely get that um, in, in, in your classes. So Maryville um, has been ranked in, in several different ways um, across the board. Um, some of our rankings is we're third best regional college in the South. We're the third best college in undergraduate teaching and um, first best college for veterans, um, and eighth best college for value of school. So we definitely have um, moved our way up at being a smaller college, which is um, good to know because, you know, of all things this year, it's good to look at rankings and see where everyone is at and which is, Cool because Maribel um, has made its way. Um, do well, be well. We um, are a very, in a, like I said, in a cool location. 
Um, we have this program called Mountain Challenge. Um, it's free for all of our students. It also can be a scholarship and a fellowship. Um, that being said, all of this is on our campus. Every picture you're looking at has been taken, whether it's been a trip with our campus um, about 35 minutes away or it's on our campus. We do have yoga on our campus. That's our yoga deck. Um, we do have our this Alpine Tower, which is our tower on campus that um, you can climb. We believe that it shows you that you are able to be um, more than what you think you can. Um, and so that's just a great way to tell yourself, hey, you're, you're, you can actually get through this exam. Um, but we also pride ourselves on fit, green, happy. Um, we are a, a completely sustainable school in the sense of everything that you'll eat in our um, cafeteria, majority of it has been locally grown and is served to our students on, in, on, in our, on our campus. Um, the fit part is we just believe that getting outside and being outdoors can lift your mood and help you even within your classes and your day-to-day -day activities. And the happy part, of course, just means um, you're being um, satisfied on the campus through your activities and through your um, uh, sustainable ways. We do, as I mentioned, offer several different scholarships. We offer 100% of our students receive an academic award. We do accept the Tennessee Hope um, Scholarship as well, even though we're a private institution. Our scholarships range anywhere between 14,000 and full tuition. Um, that is our top scholarship. And we do have stackable competitive scholarships. So you can stack scholarships onto other scholarships. And then we're about 1,500 less than an average student cost at a, other public Tennessee universities. You will get an MBA treatment at, at, um, at MC. Maribel uh, College has over 60 plus programs of study and we have over 1,500 um, than the, the less than the public schools in Tennessee, as I mentioned before. Um, and our purpose of our school is to do good on the largest possible sale. You will hear that all throughout your visit if you when you come on campus, um, but you also will have that done in your classes as well as on the fields or off. The ways you can get connected with Maribel College is to come on a visit. We are offering in-person tours as well as virtual. Um, so definitely take part in that. Um, you can chat with an enrollment counselor, me. I'm um, a completely, completely to your disposable. Um, so I wanna be able to meet with you personally, whether that's through Zoom or you come in on campus and we um, of course do um, social distancing and, and talk. Um, and then connect with professors. You can sit in on classes virtually um, as well as in person and um, and you can uh, meet with coaches for athletics. We are a D3 school in the NCAA, um, and so we do have several um, teams and, and um, opportunities for you to continue your athletic career. Once again, my name is Kelly Coger. I'm an enrollment counselor at Maribel College. Here's my contact information. Feel free to take a picture of it and save it for later. We would love to have you um, on our campus and go Scots. Thank you, Kelly. And uh, next up, uh, we will turn it over to Hannah from Miami University. Thank you very much, Hannah. Alrighty, good evening, everyone. Let's go ahead and switch. There we go. Alrighty, well, welcome uh, to the Miami University session of the evening. My name is Hannah Stone. I am the Regional Admission Counselor uh, for Miami. So my contact information will be at the end of this presentation. So if you have any questions at all about the information that I'll be going over, um, I will also be the one reading your application if you are a senior and will be applying to Miami this fall. Um, I would love to talk to you a little bit more, so please uh, be sure to grab my contact information and I would love to set something up um, for us to talk more. But let's get started. So a little bit about Miami. We are a public mid-sized institution located in the town of Oxford, Ohio. Oxford is an adorable little college town about an hour southwest of the city of Cincinnati. So if you are looking for that small college town feel, Miami can definitely check a lot of boxes. Um, we also have some amazing programs uh, to go with uh, that very collegiate feel of campus. Um, we have over 120 different majors on campus, um, so really something for everyone. We are liberal arts based, so we do encourage a lot of uh, multidisciplinary um, collaboration uh, between our various academic programs. So we really do work closely with our students to help you design a degree plan that really suits um, your interests. 
Um, like I said before, we are a mid-sized institution. I will say we are on the larger end of that scale. We have an undergraduate population of a little over 17,000 students. Um, and we do share the campus with a little over 2,200 graduate students. So the big takeaway here is campus is really dedicated to your success as a student. So you're not competing with our graduate students for things like campus resources, for research opportunities, or even for FaceTime uh, with your professors. Our average class size is 30 students and all of our classes are also taught by professors. So definitely a lot of ways uh, to get connected. Um, you're not going to be a number at Miami. Our professors really will get to know who you are as an individual and from there be able to really serve as mentors uh, to you throughout your time at Miami. We're also home to over 600 different student organizations as well as 18 Division I sports, so a large um, amount of ways to get involved on campus. One thing I hear constantly from Miami students um, who are currently attending as well as our alumni is the community that they have built at Miami. Um, it always comes back to the people that they met as well as what they were involved in that really shaped their college experience. And we are known as what's called a public Ivy institution. So what this means is we were given this monkey year in 1985 and it's essentially uh, for delivering an Ivy level quality education um, with a public school value. So we are also known as a top value institution um, for what you get essentially for the price. We are also known across the world or across the nation rather as a top five institution for undergraduate teaching. Touched a little bit on this on the previous slide in that all of our classes are taught by professors and with our average class size being 30 students. Again, you really do have the opportunity to connect. Just some fast facts about our accepted student profile as well as um, some information for fall of 2021. Um, we are test optional uh, this year, so uh, it's completely up to you if you would like us to consider your test scores for not only admission, but also for merit scholarships. To give you an idea of uh, what we would typically consider competitive um, for a student um, to be admitted uh, to Miami, um, we do list our average ACT, SAT, as well as our middle 50% uh, GPA. Um, we also have a majority of our students coming from across the country. So we are a very national institution. Um, so you don't have to worry about sitting in classes with students who have all grown up in Ohio. Um, this also really does help our campus community because it means that students are around on weekends. So again, just enhancing that community experience. Um, we also offer guaranteed merit scholarships um, this year based solely on GPA because we are test optional. Um, you can apply with us through the Common App. Um, we are operating with two major deadlines this year, December 1st, which is our priority deadline, and February 1st, which is our regular decision deadline. So you can submit your application via the Common App, um, Common Application, and uh, just know that with the submission of that application, you are also applying for our merit scholarships as well. So based on GPA, these scholarship levels will automatically apply for all four years that you would be a Miami student. We also have our four year tuition promise. So coming back to that value um, piece for us as a public Ivy institution. This means that we actually fix the cost of our tuition for all four years for each of our incoming students. So this means that your overall rate of tuition will not change from the time you start at Miami up until you graduate. College for us is a four year investment, both in time as well as money. So we really do wanna help you get all of the information that you need upfront in order to make that best college decision for you. And again, um, within that tuition promise, this is all what's uh, guaranteed. And just some outcomes uh, with graduation. Um, we are a very competitive program. So know that no matter your next steps as a Miami graduate, whether that's entering the workforce in your first career or continuing your education in something like law, medical school, or a graduate level program, you are going to be a very competitive candidate by the time you graduate from Miami. And that is all I have on a formal capacity. So please be sure uh, to grab my contact information. More than happy to answer any questions uh, you may have. So thank you for all attending tonight as well.
Thank you, Hannah. I'm going to welcome back all of our reps to come back on video. And uh, we've got a couple of minutes here if you'd like to share any common questions or tips about the uh, admissions process. We also do have two questions in the Q&A for Georgia College and State University and Liberty University. If you want to address those, that would be great. Anyone want to start with the uh, uh, common questions that they may get or tips about the general college admissions process? Sure, I just had about Cuban coffee, so I'm a little hyped up right now. Not gonna lie, if you guys are in Florida, best Cuban coffee here in Pompano. Going back to the original presentation, you have some incredible schools here today presenting to everybody in Georgia. Like I said, don't focus on the acceptance rate. Focus on three qualities. Focus on retention. How happy are kids from first year to second year? graduation rates. How does that student value that degree that they want to stay all four years and career placement? Truth of the matter is, is selectivity does not equal quality. So if a school is 45%, 55%, 10% acceptance rate, you're going to find your home. There's 4,500 institutions in the United States. And I know Timmy agrees with me as well. You're going to find your home and it's not where you go. It's what you do with your resources. Thank you, Federico. Anyone have any um, favorite campus traditions that they would like to share? Share one. Great. Okay, so Liberty offers during the first weekend of the school year, they offer a thing called the block party. And it's a super cool event that students every year come to and we offer like rides, Ferris wheels, food trucks, live bands that come and sing. And normally students who are a part of like bands where they've started to get noticed by a lot of other people, they'll come and sing. And it's just a really fun way for students to get to kind of meet each other, get back into the swing of things and just kind of have fun there on campus. It's right outside of our La Haye Rec and Fitness Center. So we block off the complete part of the parking lot and set up everything. And our student activities team is actually the department that sets it up and it is super fun. And in addition to that is, well, I guess a break off of what our student activities team does is the coffee house event. And that is super fun as well because it's hosted twice a year once during like the Christmas winter part of the semester. And so normally we'll do like a 25 days of coffee house, a spinoff of 25 days of Christmas. And it's super fun. It's a late night event. And so if you're unfamiliar with Liberty University, we do have a curfew. I'm just going to say that off the bat, we do have a curfew, but that's okay because this late night event, you are able to sign out for, which is super nice. So you can go to this event and if you are talented musically or you can dance really well or you're good creatively and you can create some type of video, they are such a fun way just to showcase your talent and obviously stay out past curfew. So it's definitely a fun event that we love to talk about. So that coffee house and then our student block party are two of our favorite traditions that we have. At Georgia College, we, um, like I mentioned in my presentation, we're in Milledgeville. So not only are we right on top of Lake Sinclair, um, so lake life is always great, but Milledgeville is also home to the Deep Roots Festival. So every year it brings tens of thousands of people from really all over the country, but especially within the state, um, to our adorable little town. And there's um, always either a barbecue or a chili cook-off, sometimes both. Um, and so it's always a good time. There's live music literally all day and all night and um, all of the local stores and restaurants, they run specials, they have tents up. It's just super, super fun. Um, and that's normally when we also have um, Fall Fest on campus. This year, of course, we are doing it virtually. Um, and Deep Roots is going to be moved, um, but going forward, Deep Roots is going to be a two-day thing. So if you've ever wanted to really experience Milledgeville and all of the really cool people who make it such a special place, that's always great. And my other true campus tradition that I personally love is that our students love to communicate via chalk. So seriously, as you're walking throughout campus, if you just look down at the ground, you will see basically everything you need to know about what's going on, 
I mean, SGA elections are going on. It's, I mean, the, the concrete's just covered. So it's always a really cool thing to see lots of arts and just cute stuff going on on campus. Well, at Life University, there's a couple of cool things that I think happen on campus. One, we're located right next door to a Dobbins Air Reserve Base. Uh, if you're familiar with the Atlanta Marietta, Marietta area, that's the base where the Air Force One lands in that. So when the President of the United States come in, the campus is shut down for about a good five, 10 minutes. And you can literally see Air Force One land on, the, uh, land on this landing strip. And if you want to take a nice drive off campus, you can see the Air Force One and the Secret Service Park right outside of our campus. In addition to that, uh, during the Christmas holidays, we have what we call the Lights of Life. It is considered the, the number one Christmas lights show in the state of Georgia. So if you're in the, in the area, partaking into a, dare I say, a Falcons game after their loss, then come on up to Life University and come hang out on our campus for Lights of Life. We, there's cotton candy, there's uh, petting of the, different type of animals, a uh, lot of different uh, uh, games and shows that happens on our campus. It happens for two weeks. So it goes from six o'clock in the evening to about 10 o'clock in the evening during the week and all day Saturday. So you wouldn't be disappointed either way. Excellent. We've just got a couple of seconds left to go. Anyone else want to chime in? Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you very much to our reps for sharing their evening with us and to you, everyone in the audience as well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, when you close this window, there'll be a very quick four question survey that will be, and if you could share a little bit of feedback about your experience uh, in this session, we'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to uh, check out the recordings that will all be available on the web, the same website where you registered, gaprobe.org. Those should be all available next week. Thank you again, everyone, and have a wonderful evening. Thanks to all of our reps as well. Bye-bye now.